Welcome back to Making with Z. In this video, we're going to talk about the Microcosm M98 steam engine. Uh, I, I didn't make this. I actually purchased it. Uh, I think I got it from Engine DIY online, but I think you can get it from Banggood uh, or Microcosm directly. So let's do a little review of the engine. Okay, so let's take a look at the just an overall view of the engine. Here it is from one side. You can see the flywheel. Uh, this part is the engine, and this end here is the boiler. Um, so let's take a look around here, get a view of the engine. Okay, I'll turn, see how show you how it works. We'll talk about that a little more and I'll, I'll actually fire it up and we'll see it run. Um, so this side is the firebox. This is where you put your heat source in and I'll show you what I've used and what they recommend to use. Um, <clears throat> so here on this side, you can see the mechanism. So what you've got going here, on, if you look at it this side, there's a little slide valve here at the bottom that puts a steam to one side then the other side of the piston on the other side and we'll go along to the other side here and you see the piston moving up and down and you got a little flywheel here it does have a little groove for an o-ring drive which I plan on using um, so let's you know one of the questions I had when I was buying this is how big is it and on the websites, they don't give you good dimensions. So let's take a look here. I've got some calipers. Overall, from end of the flywheel here to the other side, about 4 inches, 329. Um, the width of it, if you go to the outside of it, it's about 1 inch 470. And the boiler is about 1 inch 185. I'm sure some of these dimensions are metric sizes. Uh, the diameter of the flywheel is 1 inch 143, let's call it. Um, the overall height to the smokestack or chimney is about 3 inches 578. Um, and then the overall top of the boiler is 2 inches 308 there so and let's see how the engine to the top of the engine I don't know if I'm capturing this but if you can see it it's around two and a quarter to the top of the engine so uh, the width of the flywheel about 195 200 thousandths and the diameter of the little pulley the little drive pulley is about 313, 314. Um, <clears throat> so what else you've got going on here is this is where you put the water into the engine. And it's also a relief valve, so I guess if uh, the pressure built up really high, it would uh, relieve. So it's on a spring. So if the pressure gets high, this would pop and release the pressure on the on the boiler. All right, so that's just a general overview. Give you some more shots in case you're looking to buy one of these. Um, like I said, I did buy it from Engine DIY, um, and it was a little over a hundred dollars for the engine. So I was looking to build one, but for this price and I want something to just test out some projects that I want to power with steam. So this was for me a great buy. You know, it's the time that it takes for $100 uh, just to try this to see how it works is worth it. So here you can see, and, and it is very well made. Um, I can't say anything really negative about it. There go down the smokestack chimney. You can see down in there and down from the top give you some views all 
Okay. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do, since I haven't run it in a while, is let's just oil it up a little in a few points here. Just give it some oil. Um, I think with steam you got to be careful that you do keep everything lubricated. Um, so I'm just going to oil all the joints back in. See, the valve. Um, and over here, the crankshaft. Okay, so the next thing uh, we need to do is put some water in the boiler. Uh, it did come with this little syringe. Um, so what I've got is a little Dixie cup full of water. Let's just pull some water up in the tube. Um, <clears throat> so the filler cap is also the pressure valve. So we'll take that out. And we'll just start putting some water in there. Now I think it's important that you do have enough water in the boiler. If there's not enough, it would probably cause some problems. So here I actually think I have too much, but let's see what happens when I try to put the cap back in. Okay. Okay, so the fuel I'm using, and I think it's a little big, I had to break it down into pieces. Uh, is the solid fuel cubes and what they look like they come in these little packets and it, they smell awful uh, <laughs> just a warning there uh, so what I had to do is take one of these and break it up it comes in a little pan comes with the engine that you put the fuel in so I broke up the cubes uh, into little smaller cubes that we could fit in here and it'll fit inside the section here uh, of the boiler and it goes in. So let's go ahead and we'll try to light it and get the boiler heated up. Alright, so I do have it lit up. You can see it burning. Um, so let's go ahead and insert it in the boiler. Okay. So it's in the boiler, and as far as I can tell, it's still running. You can see some of the smoke coming out of the top of the engine, or the smokestack. So let's give her a few minutes to uh, boil the water. Alright, so it's heating up here. You can still see some smoke coming out of the smokestack. Um, Temperature-wise, we're at about 122 and climbing so we'll see at some point uh, we'll start generating or boiling the water and generating some steam okay so we started running here um, getting around 100 and 70 degrees
So you can see it's running for quite a few minutes. Uh, it does spurt out a lot of water steam as it runs. Uh, it gets very hot. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look for a bunch coming up. Like I said, uh, different model kits. I do have some other engines I'll be showcasing too. I have the 16 cylinder uh, Sterling engine which I'll be doing in an upcoming video. So definitely um, subscribe to the channel and uh, look out for some new videos. Thanks.